Oh yeah! What is up? So fam, we have, I would say a ton going on today. Probably not an absolute ton. My goal is to do a little bit of work on the resto gen today. So we're gonna head over to the barn. We gotta get a battery charger for some batteries. We've got to get some new shocks for the resto gen, some new paint stuff for the resto gen. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're back with the resto gen and today's progress is going to be focusing on the frame of the truck a little bit more. As you can see, there's all kinds of stuff that needs done, but I will say that the frame is on the top of my list to get done as soon as possible. That way the truck can be sent off to paint and body work and actually get that focused on and get that done because of course, I really want to get this thing in good shape so we can start to work on some other things. We're going to have to have some bearings in the drive shaft this frame pressure wash down i was going to do chassis saver but actually i'm just going to go with a i think it's called it's some black you know rust prevention enamel paint that's supposed to stop rust if it's already there and also just kind of seal everything off and coat it and protect so i'm probably going to do that right now why well it's going to look a lot cleaner it's not as messy in that chassis saver stuff it does look good the problem is it is so toxic and I really shouldn't have that in the barn with the you know the horse and the chicks and everything else and just Reagan having to go in and out of there if I sit this thing in the barn and I'm doing chassis saver that stuff is so toxic especially Reagan being pregnant is the biggest thing to me and her having to come out here every day it like puts this toxic scent in the air for literally weeks that doesn't go away and I know I could do it outside but it's been raining so much lately and we're supposed to get rain all day tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that I just really need to get this coated with something that's not as toxic get it pulled inside and then get it you know to where it's at least protected beyond what it is now and then get to moving on with the rest of the truck but the first step is going to be getting the pressure washer turned on and finishing up the cleaning process of the frame all through here we got it really nice and scrubbed down and really well clean it actually looks pretty good but as you can see, there's a lot of dirt still, a lot of dirt on the fuel tank, a lot of dirt, just a lot of stuff. So we're gonna get the pressure washer out and spend a good, I wanna say 20 minutes on just pressure washing this down so we can get a good clean base before coating with anything. This is the side got a little bit of scrubbing and spraying. This is the side that didn't get any. So let's get this layer of dirt off and then we'll get to the rest of the project. All finished up. We got pretty much everything well brushed, still kind of in the drying process. Pretty much everything is well brushed down to get all the dirt off. And now you can actually see what the actual progress is of the rust that was starting to form. This is just surface rust. This is all stuff that could be worked off if you took like a wire wheel to it for a couple of minutes. But I mean, it's pretty darn clean. I mean, we got this pretty darn, pretty darn clean. I didn't clean obviously like the drive shaft and the exhaust because we're getting rid of the exhaust. And uh, that's gonna be fun, that's coming soon. He's getting rid of that. But everything cleaned up pretty well. We got everything pretty well cleaned up, pretty well scrubbed with a brush. Got all of the main dirt and dust and just junk and mud off of the frame itself. Got it brushed down and sprayed off. And I think it's pretty much ready to go with the enamel. This is a duplicolor, you know, it's called their rust barrier. Paint over rusted and bare metal, seals corrosion impact resistant, flexible rubberized finish, you know, whatever. I've used this stuff before and it's not like a bed liner. It's basically like a flat black paint that is apparently, you know, somewhat uh, rubberized somehow, which I don't really understand. It's not like a bed liner, so you don't spray it on. It's all, you know, clumpy and gloppy and messy. It's not like that. So I don't know why they say it's rubberized because like I said, I've, I mean, I've used it before and it doesn't ever really have that feel if you ask me. We're gonna actually let this dry. I actually got Rosine over here, a good wash down. I, I got a new set of cleaning supplies and I just kind of got like this, it's, it's like a microfiber, it's, yeah, it's like a microfiber, they call it mop 
for your vehicle and I took and I just wiped the entire truck down to get all the dust off it from sitting in the barn because it's just got a little bit dusty in there. Check this out. What do you notice right here? This truck was a two-tone truck. So this was actually super cool because when you look at the truck, you look at this blue that's on it, somebody tried to repaint it just like one full color, which is like that factory blue. And you can see the silver two-tone back here. And this truck was actually a blue and silver two-tone, which has me thinking of some ideas. And I'm actually, I don't know if I should do it or not, but I'm considering doing the blue and silver two-tone again. Again, I don't know if we're gonna do it. I don't know if Miguel would be up for it, but I'm sure he could do it if I asked him to. I'm just, I kinda wanna do a blue and silver two-tone, but I kinda wanna do just the whole truck like this nice shiny blue color. I don't know, let me know down in the comments below. Should we go with a blue and silver two-tone or should we go all blue? Let me know. I'm just gonna start on this portion of the frame and see how it looks. not totally dry yet of course because I just applied it but here's a section of frame that I coated as you can see it looks really good I mean it looks like new and then you've got this section of frame which is dry no more dirt you know I just haven't coated it yet and you can see the difference of course this isn't dry it's a little bit wet but you can see the difference and uh, pretty substantial pretty substantial difference so um, we're going to wrap it up here though, because we're going to go hang out with some family right now. There's where we are right now, and uh, we will pick you guys back up when we're getting ready to finish this up. Well, as you can see, empty trailer, no trailer hooked up to the truck, no extra truck sitting there on the drive. Yeah. Do I have a story for you. Something I'm experimenting with. No, this is not one of the good doors. This is one of the bad doors that came off of this truck. I'm trying to see if I can put like a temporary paint on these doors to make them aesthetically look a little bit easier on the eyes when they go on that white truck. Because the parts truck, of course, is gonna get all these old parts bolted onto it so that it can all be one piece and I can sell the whole truck off to somebody that wants it for the engine, transmission, frame, or whatever the case may be. That's the plan for that truck, so I just thought, you know what, what the heck, I'll see if I can spray these doors to make them look a little bit easier on the eyes, just in case somebody actually wants to buy it and use it as like a truck that they drive for themselves temporarily. And uh, it actually, it, I don't think it'll look too bad. That's just a primer. That's just like the primer coating. Um, I took a brush and I sanded it off and kind of like brushed off the flaky paint so it wouldn't be flaky. But that's just the first coating, like that's like the primer coating. But I feel like if you masked it off and you primed it all white and then you actually did your white paint, it actually wouldn't look too bad. And they do sell cans of the Chrysler color, the white paint for the old trucks. And uh, I, I don't think it'd look too bad. I'd have to do, of course, the bed, the hood, and the doors, but I don't know. Just an idea. It might actually look not too bad. Here's the frame and here's the progress on that. We did get. Um, this actually I just coated a little bit ago, so it's still a little bit wet. But this was coated um, over a day ago, over 24 hours ago now. This was as well, all this has been coated. It actually looks pretty darn good. And people are asking what I did before I coated it. And basically what I did was I just took like a really rough brush, bristle brush, not a metal wire brush, but just a more stiff like brush and I just brushed off all the dirt. And that's only because this frame, like if you look at all this, all of this stuff in through here, it's really not that bad. It's not like pitted and bad of rust. It's just like, it was just really dirty and a lot of little surface rust starting. So there really wasn't much to wire brush off really any at all. So I just kind of brushed it down really rough and then I got it to where it was all smooth and then I just kind of coated it. And so you guys are also probably wondering what happened to picking up a new vehicle for the wife. Well. That didn't work because all the trucks that we went and looked at, except for this last one, which even the last one we looked at, there was some stuff that wasn't quite 
accurately described to us, but it was the closest thing to what we're looking for. The first truck that we went and looked at, it was a second gen. And we already talking that talking about that in her video. But this truck, it was like a little bit of body rust and stuff like that, but it was very, very minor. And it was like in the bed of the truck and there was only like a couple little bubbles that weren't in the bed of the truck and that were on the actual body around the truck. But it was all stuff that could very, very easily with a good paint guy just sand it, work it down, I don't know how you do it, and then just fix it and paint back over that, you know, that area. But anyway, so not that bad, and then I get to the frame, and I had asked the guy in conversation on Facebook, I said, hey, is the frame solid? He's like, truck is solid, great solid truck. I said, is it solid, as in, are there no holes or cracks in the frame? Because we can't deal with holes and cracks in the frame, because we bought a lot of second gens, we have had one in the past that had holes in the frame, so ever since then I look really thoroughly, because there are a lot more of them that have it than you'd think. So I just want to know for sure, because it's almost two hour drive. He's like, no, no, dude, it's solid. Come check it out. I was like, okay. So we were actually kind of excited. I'm like, okay, that's not a bad price. It's just hardly over 200,000 miles. I'm like, let's go check this thing out. We get there to check this truck out. The frame was in pretty good shape all around. But then I get up onto the front end and up onto the front driver's side, right where the bumper bracket and that front cross support kind of like me next to the steering box. There's this massive hole, like the size of a baseball, right in the frame. And I look there because almost every second gen, unless they say it's rust free 100%, which even sometimes it's still not. If they don't say it's rust free and they say there's some rust, the first thing I do is I get under and I look at that frame because there's a few spots that are notorious for rotting out. One's by the fuel tank, one's in the front end on the driver's side, by the front cross member where the bumper mounts up next to the steering box. And then another spot is like on the inner tubular section of the frame on the driver's side or passenger side, I don't know what decides which side of the frame rusts and which one doesn't, but those are some key areas to look for. And then just the cross members, the cross supports all throughout the frame going back behind the cab and all the way back. So I looked under there, everything looked good until that one spot big hole. We get a look at the second truck and this is the one that really got me irritated. First off, I had messaged the guy, super nice guy though, so I'm not holding anything against the guy. He was just mowing his lawn so he didn't see the text, so that's not a big deal. This is where it gets good. So. I messaged a guy, didn't hear anything. I'm like, dude, we're only like less than an hour from you know your location. Um, if you can get a hold of me, we come that way. We've got money in hand to look. Never got an answer, and it's an hour goes by. So I'm like, okay, let's just go home. So we went home. He didn't give me his address, by the way. All I knew was a general town location he was in. So we go home, we drive back an hour and 40 minutes home. As Soon as we get to the house, I kid you not, as soon as we get back home, the guy's like, yeah, you can come take a look. So I'm like, okay. That's great, but the guy happened to be down by my wife's parents' house, you know? So we're like, well, let's just go stay at the in-laws. We'll go down, we'll pack a bag. That way, if we don't get the truck, or even if we do, regardless, we'll just stay down there overnight and hang out with them, you know, because it's Easter weekend. Let's just stay the night over there and, you know, hang out there for a little bit. So we did that. I called the guy before we leave our house, because I'm like, hey man, I'm calling to ask, because in the, in the description it says, rust-free body. Is only the body rust-free? or is the frame rust free as well, or did the body have a bunch of rot and then you only fix the body and then the rest of the truck's still basically shot, like you put lipstick on a pig. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I mean, the, the body's rust free. I'm like, okay, well, I'm asking because the last two trucks that we've looked at today, and we did look at another one that was in town, but it was just, you know, oh, clean truck, come check it out, rust everywhere, right? I'm gonna prop the camera up because it's getting kind of tiring holding this giant camera. So anyways, this is now the third truck of the day because we did look at one in between there, but we didn't like set up anything or talk to anybody. The description just said, clean old truck, come check it out. And it was like 20 minutes away, so we went check that out. It was on a lot. But anyway, so I'm on the phone with this guy and I said, hey, is there any, you know, frame rust? He's like, no, 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 truck's clean, truck's solid, it's a solid old truck. I'm not trying to sound like arrogant or like come off bad. I've looked at two other trucks today. Both of them said they were clean trucks. And the one guy even said there's no rust on the frame, only a little bit on the body, and then there's a baseball size hole in the frame. So I said, I'm just checking because I want to make sure before I come down here and drive another hour and 45 minutes. And the guy's like, no, no, it's solid. He's what kind of gave me some hope. He's like, no, I just installed a new transmission in that truck, a new rebuilt transmission last summer. There was no holes anywhere. Okay, this is what the guy said. He's like, nothing, nothing to speak of. I get there and I'm looking under the truck and I start with the cab mounts. It's the first thing you see when you crawl under. Cab mounts, I'm like, okay, there's one rusty cab mount one not rusted, another one that's rusted. That's not good, it can be fixed, but it's not good. Crawl back a little bit more under the truck. I'm looking up, fist size hole through the floorboard of the truck, rusted out. All the cross members going over the fuel tank and over you know, the, the you know, tire suspension rack, like the, the rack that holds a spare tire, all the cross support, all the cross members, everything just rotted. I mean, baseball size holes all over the place. Sitting there thinking to myself, what in the heck was this guy on 
when he said there was no rust anywhere and he was under that truck installing a transmission last summer and there was no rust. Because this rust did not happen in one year. I mean, you're talking huge holes everywhere. I mean, this truck was Swiss cheese. So I'm looking around the frame, I'm like, oh my gosh, There's big holes everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, this is bad. And I'm looking up under the cab, all the bed mounts are just rotted out. All of the cross supports on the actual bed, you know, that sits down on the frame. Um, all rotted out. I didn't even go to look at the other side of the frame on the back side on the passenger side to look at that I just I called out from under the truck. I said no, we're gonna have to pass and keep in mind this the guy that was selling the truck It's not his truck is a friend of the guys who currently he was like sick or something And so he couldn't meet us to you know look at the truck So a friend of his said he just called a friend of his said, hey, can you come out and show him show him the truck? So just to be clear the guy that I'm talking with in person and on Facebook isn't the owner of the truck and the guy that I talked to on the phone this is the guy that's just meeting up with me, you know, to show me the truck. Let me see the truck. He said, I've never seen the truck before other than one other time when he drove it. He said, you know, this is the first time I'm seeing it. So if there's anything here that's not what was described in the post, he said that I just described what he described to me. And I, you know, like he sent me some pictures and told me to post it. And there was no proper representation of the description of the truck. I mean, it was said clean, rust-free body. And then I called him to ask if the frame was just as clean. And keep in mind, we're looking at these trucks and then they're like eight to 10,000 range, but they're like 200 to 250,000 mile trucks. So for 200 to 250,000 miles for eight to 10,000, you should be finding a rust-free truck for that kind of money. If you want something that's rusted out, if, if you're asking me, if you want something that's rusted out with that kind of mileage, it's a $4,000 truck and I'm not paying a penny more. If you're asking me if like the frames got rust all over it and it's just rotted out, the freaking bodies rotted out, all the cross members are rotted out. It shouldn't even be road legal, but if you are gonna pay for it, pay for it just to be what it's worth to run it a few years and plan on throwing it away, because that's what it's worth. I'm like, well, the truck's just Swiss cheese under there. He's like, oh, no kidding. I was like, yeah, it's Swiss cheese. He's like, he told me the thing was rust free. I said, well, it's not. I said, he told me the same thing. I said, I called him, because you said, you know, here's the owner, give him a call if you want to clarify a few things, because you, you said, You'd never seen the truck and if it's not your truck i don't expect you to be lying that you don't know everything about the truck it's not his truck you know and so i called the owner of it and he said everything was clean and, it, and it's clean it's a clean old truck solid as can be it just freaking rushed everywhere and i'll show you guys some pictures here of the stuff that i saw here's some pictures and i'll let you guys look through some of these but i mean this thing was not good i mean it was really bad like it was and I didn't even take pictures of everything, but my wife wasn't crawling around. You know, she's, you know, a little over seven months pregnant. So I told her, I said, I'll get on the ground. I'll crawl around and look at it for you and show you some pictures. Cause we're looking at these trucks for her. And I'm like, I just got out. I didn't even ask for her opinion on the pictures. I just said, here's my phone. And I just looked at the guy and said, we're not buying that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's no way you want to drive it. Absolutely not. And there was a lot of misrepresentation of the body. So the body had brand new paint and it was, you know, really good condition, all this other stuff. And it was not brand new paint. It was not in good condition. If it was brand new paint, it was horrible. Cause there's like big chips, like the way this door looks right here. You see what I'm saying? Where there was all these big old paint chips and stuff. That's what the freaking paint on the truck looked like. So I'm like, there's no way this is new paint. That was the biggest misrepresented ad on Facebook I'd ever seen in my life. I mean, it was horrible. I said, it's a parts truck and really, it's worth what the engine and transmission are worth and maybe some interior parts, maybe the doors, because the doors were actually pretty clean. There's probably the only rust free thing on the truck. When you guys are looking at trucks, I know there's a lot of guys, younger guys watching, look thoroughly underneath the truck. Don't just look at the interior and sit in the seat and drive it and go, wow, it's a Cummins diesel. Don't, just do not do that. Like just get under the truck. The last place you should look is the interior and look at the body lines. Like I really could care less about that. What you wanna make sure is that the drivetrain and the frame and the frame structuring is solid because little bits of body rust, that can be fixed. Okay, we're not complaining about body rust because we expect to see some body rust on a 25 year old truck. What we're not expecting, what we don't want is when somebody says, oh yeah, it's solid and it's rust free and you don't look under the truck because you take your word for it and you get there and it's freaking Swiss cheese and they're just trying to pawn it off on you and hoping that you're some young kid that doesn't know what he's looking for and sits in the truck and falls in love with it, gives him, you know, 8,500 bucks for this pile of junk and drives off. That's what they want. That's what some of these guys want to happen to me. If you ask me, the other guy, 
That is a dirty thing to do is to put your friend in that position and say, oh yeah, it's a rust fruit truck. I was just under it last year, replacing a transmission. You know, it's solid as can be. And then you're making your other guy look bad because he's a guy that has to meet up and do the sale. And you don't have to be there looking the guy in the face when I'm there saying, you freaking lied to me. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's a rust free truck and it is rotted out from front to back underneath. Slapping some rockers on a truck and some in the barn paint, like what I just did with the spray cans, that is not a rust free newly painted truck. That's just messed up. Cause you know, and, I, and I've been there and the, the thing that hurt me is he's like, oh, well, I've got another young kid. He's like 16 coming to look at this truck today. I'm, I'm just like, dude, look under the truck. Please look under the truck when you get there. Like, I wish I could talk to the kid because I know what I was doing when I was 16. And when I bought my first diesel, you know what I did? I paid $9,500 for a rotted out pile. I mean, that's what I did because I got all excited. I just sat in the driver's seat. I took it down the road. I was like, man, it's a Cummins diesel. Oh my gosh. How much do you want for it? Best I'll do is 95 pitched out $9,500 cash for a truck that's worth four grand. Do your research, take the time to look at multiple trucks. That's why when we're shopping for a truck for Reagan to do her first giveaway, we are looking at every option we can. And I will drive to look at tons of different trucks because I'm not gonna settle for her to buy, you know, some piece of junk and then she gets stuck with it because she can't build it and give it away because it's just a pile of crap. And luckily guys, we've done this plenty now to where we know what to look for. So you guys don't have to worry about ending up with a rusty, piece of junk lipstick on a pig truck. However, everybody, if you are interested in entering to win a truck that is not Swiss cheese, check out this thing. And this is what I mean by a clean truck. This is what you want. You see this frame? You see this? This truck isn't what I would say a perfect truck, but that's what you call a clean frame. You can get away with saying this is a rust-free frame, okay? It's got a little bit of speckling starting, but it's not rotted out. And when you can look at the bolts, and you can clearly see the bolt heads and markings that are there that have been there for 30 years or 25 years or whatever, and you can still see them easily, and everything's still crisp and clean looking, all the way down the truck, and there's no rust up behind this stuff, which there's not on this, you can claim that it's a a clean rust-free truck. Okay, other than the bird crap, that, that's not so clean. Unless your truck is truly super clean and rust-free, you can't call it clean and rust-free. Anyways, guys, if you wanna to enter to win this truck, every $5 is five entries to win until April 23rd, and then the actual giveaway itself ends on May 7th. So you guys need to get entered a little over 20 days until this giveaway's over. Go to lmpgear.com, because every $5 five inches to win this truck with 55,000 miles on it, a five-speed transmission, and it comes with $5,000 cash. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.